Hey Math 31, I had a question coming off of section 5.1, number 57, and this was where we were asked to find the domain and range of a function. So we have a parabola with its vertex at negative 1, 2, and it opens down. So let me just do a quick sketch of this. So if we went to negative 1, 2, right, and I have a parabola that opens down, something like that. I don't know exactly what it is. But I do have this high point, this maximum at negative 1, 2. And you can see here that I have arrows that are going left forever. And this one's down forever. And this one is right forever. And also down forever. And when we talk about domain and range, for domain, we always want to go left, comma, right. And we'll decide parentheses or brackets in a moment. And for range, we always want to go down, comma, up, or low to high. I mean, that's a general way of saying it. So you always want to go low to high when you're doing your intervals. All right, so let's take a look at left and right. You can see that I've got left forever and right forever. So those are going to translate to positive and negative infinities. And just in general, your parabola always looks like ax squared plus bx plus c if it's in standard form or maybe it's in vertex form and it would look like this, a times x minus h squared plus k. All right, we have the two forms of the parabola. But in general, we've talked about our three domain issues in math. And our three domain issues that we run into, we have to worry about when we have fractions, when we have radicals, and when we have logarithms. And for these parabolas, you never have a fraction. You never have a radical. Ooh, that did not work out. Excuse me, I don't know what's happening there. Logarithm. All right, let me start my sentence over. For <laughs> parabolas, you never have a fraction, right? This did not happen. I don't have a radical. I don't have a logarithm. So my domain's always going to be all real numbers. All right, now moving on to the range, if we take a look here, it looks like I went down forever on both of those. So I know that this is going to turn into negative infinity, but I did not have an up forever. My highest y value that I hit was 2, and I did hit that value, so I'm going to put the bracket on it. So domains and ranges can have parentheses or brackets, and I just want to mention that that's different from when we were talking about intervals of increasing and decreasing. Intervals of increasing and decreasing only have parentheses, but you can have parentheses or brackets on domains and ranges. All right, thanks so much. Bye.